Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you to those of you that have bought me some coffee. Boy, I'm going to need some coffee for the next couple days. Lots of it to keep me going. There was two solar flares. One of them today, which was a M1.2 solar flare. And one on the 30th, which was a C flare. That are going to meet up with each other and impact the Earth. Somewhere between tomorrow and Sunday. And let me stop this so you can see the solar flare. Let me go back a little bit. These are the proton particles that are going to be impacting the Earth over the next couple days. Yeah, it's going to create um, radio interference in an area that they call the D region. Can you see it here? Of the ionosphere. Now what's important about this is it's going to affect our satellite communication um, from Earth to yeah the satellites up there in space and I think about all our defense satellites it's going to uh, affect radio communications also for the next couple days here it says normally the D region the lowest ionosphere region at altitudes be about 70 to 90 kilometers or 40 to 55 miles the D re region differs from other ionosphere regions um, that it is free of electrons almost totally disappears during the night because they recombine with oxygen ions to form oxygen models. It plays a very important role in the propagation of radio waves at all frequency below 30 uh, megahertz and is particularly important in affecting communication over areas of the earth such as the polar regions that are inaccessible to synchronous satellite links this here solar wind prediction only shows the one c flare it does not show today's m1.2 class solar flare and it shows it impacting us if you watch come over here if i can stop it right there okay um on the third but the uh, m1.2 is a fast moving solar flare so it's going to catch up with the C-Class. And another thing that was really unusual about this um, M1.2 was that on the back side of the sun, what they call Stereo A, the proton flux also has risen. And they think it has to do with this M1.2 um, solar flare. It was a long duration solar flare also and a fast moving and they're still analyzing what effect it's going to have on the earth yeah i wonder if possibly we're going to have auroras around that time i don't know here you can see all the particles that are earth directed let me run it again um, because see all the protons that just boom heading towards earth you're on the schumann residence you can see the time when that solar flare went off right there see that right there and how it affected radio communication during that time another thing that it will probably generate is um, the weather yeah it'll affect our weather it'll affect um, earthquakes we might have an increase in earthquakes and volcanic activity so that's something else to watch out for so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching Thank you very much for subscribing, and thank you for that coffee. As always, please stay safe, be prepared for anything, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.